the room looks like. Whoa. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so big. Guys. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. It's so pretty. Let's actually check the restroom. Four size mirror. Very nice. Another mirror here. You can catch me too. And a gorgeous shower. Which I cannot oh. wait to shower. And it's a rainfall yeah. shower. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, and another mirror as you're leaving for the day. Out for the day. Thank you so much, IHG Hotel. The room is gorgeous. First things first, we're gonna get some room service because we are starving. Room service will be here shortly. I'm gonna unpack and just settle in. We called the front desk and we ordered. We asked for the most expensive thing on the room service menu and we just got delivery. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got. They gave us this and this and I ordered two Cokes on the side as well, but we don't know yet. We're gonna open it right now. Let's show them what we got. $150, guys. Guys. Wait. It's giving where's steak this, Where's the steak? <laughs> It's giving me McDonald's fries. Can we talk about this view though? This view, mm -hmm. guys, the view is gorgeous. But we ordered room service as you saw in the last clip. I'm gonna show you guys what a $60 steak plus a $20 delivery fee up six, 17 floors looks like. <laughs> I mean, if I had a lot of money to just like throw, throw I mean, yeah, maybe. Go for it. But I, I don't even think. I would even when I have that much money. Maybe it'll taste like this. Can of Coke was twelve dollars with the delivery fee. Um, so let's see if this compared to the Coke in Hawaii is gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. We are like tired, we're hangry, and we wanted hot food delivered to our room. Hence the room service. We don't usually do this kind of stuff. Yeah, we so don't. So this is rare. For Unless us? we're in like um another country, another country, and we want to like celebrate. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with our twelve dollar Coke. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like twelve dollars. It tastes like twelve dollars. Um, I think my imagination is trying to think that it's fizzier. Try the fries. They didn't come ketchup. Mmm. Okay, not bad. Cheese There's crispy. also like truffle butter or something in here. I was expecting like a steak with mashed potatoes or something, mm. like filet mignon or like a ribeye or a New York steak. I mean, anything tastes good in a hotel room, in a bathroom. Thank you so much, Hotel Indigo, for having us, for having so much fun. We're eating such good food and our view. You guys hooked it up. After this, I might still be hungry, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see where the night takes us. We're gonna pick up some sushi. Hi! Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, good to get you. Hi. How's your trip? We're with Miss Chef Margo. Hi! <laughs> She's making our sushi rolls fresh. She came here two hours ago and started <laughs> early for us. We're gonna make you our best sellers. Yeah. It's like North. Guys, I'm with Chef Margo and she made us a pizza box with sushi inside. The chilotes roll. I'm really excited for the hot yeah. cheese yeah, one. Yeah, the chilotes roll and the yummy roll. This is my favorite. Mm, it looks so yummy. Thank you so much. Thank Everything looks so, so good. Thank we're you. so excited to try it. And now we're making a quick stop at Trader Joe's in Silver Lake. Let's get some soup dumplings. I'm gonna try this one. We're gonna get a pork and a chicken one. We're also gonna try this butter chicken with basmati rice. I love pomegranate, so we're gonna try this pomegranate punch. And we're gonna get a truffle soy sauce to eat with the dumplings. Today we're eating a pizza box, but it's not just any pizza box, it's full of sushi. It's 1.30 in the morning and I'm hungry again, so we had to get some Uber Eats. We just got our Uber Eats. We got some non dong and they have this really good salon tom, which I got last time. We also got some goodies at 7-Eleven, some waters, my favorite Red Bull, some Arizona. 
Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are doing another mukbang. We are eating sushi from I Ate Sushi and we met Chef Margo who makes all of this by hand and she invited us to her kitchen to see how she prepares it and she made us this really pretty guys, platter. It's so pretty. And I am gonna also have salong tong which I just ordered on Uber Eats and this is from Son Nongdan and I think that they're located in Koreatown and Sandy's gonna have some sushi. Look at this, guys. You just need to see this. That oh, is the, the crunch, crunch roll. roll. I think it's called the yummy roll. It's her um, Chef Margot's favorite. I'm gonna dip it into the chili oil. Mm. Look at that, guys. I'm trying it. That's actually so delicious. Mm. If you guys ever had the wow. chili wontons from um, the Taifung, Taifung. That's the sauce. Oh like, it gosh. tastes like, very similar. We also had truffles shoyu. We made a stop at Trader Joe's because we have Trader Joe's in Hawaii and they had truffle soy sauce, which I've been seeing Whoa. all over TikTok. It smells so much like truffle. I'm gonna actually try on one of the pieces. And I have green onions, which I'll be putting into my salon tong. Also came with noodles, but I don't really like noodles. I buy like soups more so for the broth, but I got on the side for Sandy. Actually, it's rice. <laughs> Not I'm not gonna a huge fan of the It's shoyu. very bitter. Like it has a strong flavor. It I'm not like a fan. spikes. The oh. salong ton is pretty much just a clear um beef bone beef bone broth. And I got it with um kind of like a brisket thin beef meat with no fat. Brisket. This is really good. And it always comes with salt and pepper because it kind of has no flavor. So I always add all of the pepper and I always order all of the salt. It also came with a lot of yeah. Let me show you the banchan. So, banchan haul. Here's all the banchan. So we have kimchi. Another kimchi. Is this radish? Radish kimchi. Yes. Pickled, pickled onion like and pickled jalapeno. Pickled onion and jalapeno kimchi. Ooh, put it right here. And then last but not least, we have. Is this chives or green onion kimchi? Ooh, chives mm. kimchi. I'm gonna try chive kimchi because I don't think I ever had that. I'm gonna try the brisket. Mmm. Yum. Wow. That is so good, Rich. Mm. It is a little on the sweeter side. Wow. Let's try the kimchi. The leaf kimchi. Yum. Amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Radish. Mm. Wow. wow, the better one. I normally eat the radish cubes. I've never had like the big pieces. If you guys are eating so long tong, you have to eat it with radish. Mm. So crunchy, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I usually love this side dish when I eat in Korean barbecue. But it has a pickled flavor as well. Wow. Yum, right? That is amazing. Mm -hmm. LA has the best Korean food. Wow. Guys, this one has hot Cheetos and corn. Mm. Mm -hmm. I also ate half of the sushi prior to this video and it's on my TikTok so if you guys want to watch that follow me on TikTok and we also ate this on our um, Life of Throws TikTok as well so check it out there you couldn't eat everything in one sitting because this box is huge mm -hmm. so we saved some for our YouTube video and we're gonna save some for later tonight when we get hungry we just arrived in LA today this is our first night here our flight got delayed for four hours it was not fun supposed to arrive in LA at 3 but then we ended up arriving at like 6 and 7. Our entire day got wasted. We had like a lot of things planned, a lot of like places to eat at that we had reservations at, but we had to cancel them. However, we still had I ate sushi prepared for like 7.30. And when I was filming TikToks earlier and eating the sushi, my favorite was the creme brulee one that's torched. Pretty much did, didn't really do much today because we just arrived, we were super tired. We went to Trader Joe's to get like some soup dumplings. We are running on like maybe like an one hour, hour and of sleep. sleep. Currently 3 a.m. and <laughs> our day is supposed to start at 8 a.m. We have an early day tomorrow. And we're here still eating. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the noodles. If you guys know I'm more of a broth fan and less of a noodles fan. Mm. I normally order ramen for broth or udon for broth. They are definitely not stingy. I mean, look at all of this meat. The meat is so tender and soft. And this was about $25, I think, or $20? I think that was $23. But it came with all of this. Not the sushi, but like all the banchan and the rice and the noodles. Such a great deal. Overall, I give this a long tongue a 7 out of 10. 
when we were in, in LA like a few months ago, we ordered salong tong at this other place where they're known for. I think that that was a little bit better. It had a little that, bit better flavor. I think that place is called Yangji Gamja Tong. Mm -hmm. I think they're known for the gamja tong, mm -hmm. but I didn't oh. order that one, right? No, we got it. I mean, I eat it. It's the potato pork next soup. I thought that their salong tong was the best I ever had in my entire life. This is number two though. We're gonna go and get dessert right now. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Guys, we are now at the Grove. We are here. It's seven o'clock. They close at nine o'clock, so we have two hours to get some shopping done. First, we're at Aritzio. Guys, I'm deciding between the pink one or the blue one, but apparently it lasts over a year and a half. It's snowing. Look how pretty it is. Guys, we came just in time. It started snowing. All right, there you go. Thank you. Have a good night, okay? I got some fresh juice I've been craving the mint chocolate. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good night. You too. Okay guys, I got a mint chocolate press freeze. I love how their freezes are non-dairy, so it's more of an icy texture. It's really light and minty. Mm. And now we're gonna go to In-N-Out because I am craving some burgers. We are getting In-N-Out and the drive through line, I tell you not, it is so packed. There's about like 20 cars. Everyone's beeping at each other because no one's moving up. <laughs> and we just wanted some In-N-Out. We just Action want a double-double. Like, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's been 20 minutes so far. There's so much cars behind us. We are like, should we leave or should we wait? And Sandy really wants it. So we're gonna stick it out. Yes, I but couldn't get it last trip. I wanted to leave because like, I already know it's gonna take an hour. But when you eat it, you're gonna get some worth it. I do want to stop for Korean food after this too. Anyways, tonight was a great night. We got so much shopping done and I got this rose. So when I was shopping for the rose, there were like a bunch of kids and one of the kids knocked over the glass. And the mom was like, that's not, my, that's not my problem that you guys set up the thing like that. And like, didn't offer to pay and I felt so bad because it looked like a small business. So I was like, I need to get the rose no matter what. We finally made it to the front. Thank you. Not bad, it was only 20 minutes. They, are, they move They're actually fast. really fast. They're really fast. Thank you so much. Nice. I got a double double with no cheese and raw onion and Sandy got a... Double double no tomato grilled. And of course, animal style fries, well done. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. You guys know by now I'm a repetitive eater and if I like something, I'll eat it every single day. But I got salong tong again. I ate this exact one like two months ago when we stayed at the Line Hotel in Koreatown and I ordered it on Uber Eats. And this was hands down my favorite salong tong. It was better than the one I had last night and I can't wait to try it. I got it from Yangji Gamja Tong. And this is my favorite place for salong tong. There's one more place that I, I've heard is like the most popular in LA, but I haven't tried it yet. This is a salong tong and this one is so good. It comes with the tower of banchan, the sweet beans. This looks like fish cake, radish kimchi, kimchi leaves. Mm. The meat in here is so good guys. When I wake up, I need to do an ice roller or put on a face mask because my face is gonna blow it up. I love broth so much, but it just makes my face puffer up. I'm gonna shower because we just came home and I feel really sticky and I wanna just shower and then I'm gonna heat this up and eat this really hot and nice in bed because I know it's gonna taste 10 times better. But thank you guys for having dinner with me and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, we just woke up and we are gonna get some breakfast. We're gonna head over to Air One. We just got an apple cider sample. Not, not my, I'm not a fan. Look at this sushi, guys. I kind of want sushi. This one looks really good. Okay, guys, I went with the sushi that I wanted, and Sandy's gonna get some of the hot foods. Guys, I really want to try the buffalo cauliflower, so we got a side of that as well. Thank you. I'm curious, I want to find the sea moth. 35, 40, this is the one I wanted to try, the blue one. Why are they all different colors? Does it mean something? The blue one is so pretty. I don't think I can take this back home though. So I was watching Bling Empire and this is his company, I think Kevin. So I'm, I want to try it, let's try it. 
It's pretty good. I'm gonna try this sushi from Erewhon. This is grocery store quality sushi, but it is so bougie. Um, this was $19, and I got the sushi sprout roll. The black tobiko one is tuna, and the red tobiko one is salmon. I don't even know why I got this because I don't like raw salmon, but I didn't know this was salmon until I opened it up. Okay, let's try the ahi one first. The tuna is so good, guys. There's crab, cucumbers, and avocado on the inside. Cheers. Mm. Aside from the salmon, everything else is really good. I'm trying Kevin from Blink Empire's um, sparkling water, and it's supposed to taste like alcohol. It's Wow, it's actually not bad. It's really good. It contains 7% of juice and it's a dragon ginger flavor. It kind of tastes like a dragon hibiscus flavor. And it has like a hint of ginger, which kind of helps your throat. It kind of tastes like a wellness shot in a sparkling water, if that makes sense. I actually really like it. We also got a side of buffalo cauliflower and this tray was about $12. The buffalo tea is amazing, but the cauliflower is a little too healthy for me. I give this a 5 out of 10. Breakfast was really good. I'm kind of disappointed. I should have got a breakfast burrito, which is kind of what I initially came here for, but I wanted to try something different. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and get some coffee at Alfred's. We are headed to Disneyland Park right now. We have arrived to Disneyland. Let's go into the Sleeping Beauty Castle. <gasps> <laughs> the first thing that we see is stairs <laughs> and we're like, nope, no castle for us guys. Yo, welcome <laughs> to the vlog. Oh my god. Spin, spin. <laughs> Turn this way. The chicken has arrived. I have a spicy fried chicken and a soy garlic. This one looks amazing. This one's calling my name. I'm gonna try this first. Cheers. This is the best chicken wings I've ever had. It has a nice, rich, salty, but also sweet flavor. And it has a soy garlic scent as well. Let's try the spicy one. Look at all of that steam. What's good about this Korean fried chicken is that it's their spicy version is not too spicy. It's very tolerable. And it's nice and crispy and light. And the meat is really rich and tender. And now we are at Mellow Mellow. I'm gonna get some of the coconut jellies, which were so good. First, I'm gonna try the caramel latte. It kind of has a creme brulee texture at the top. Mm. The crunchy sugar top makes this my favorite. Now I'm gonna try the mango, which was my favorite from the last time I was here. The mango tastes so fresh. Now let's eat the coconut, the coconut triple. This one tastes like pure coconut. I had to get two more. We are headed to Las Vegas. We're doing a four hour road trip and we are making a quick stop at Dutch Bros. <laughs> 